All right. I I Marshall. Okay, we meet again. In this video, are we going? I I'm going to show you on how to model a low poly chair by using only one cube. Okay, in this video, one cube only one cube will be used, and I will go to edit mode, and then I will use uh, extrusions. And also, I will use uh, <coughs> the loop cut tool to make a chair, and then I will extrude the face from there. It's similar to what we have, uh, what I've shown you in the previous video. Okay, you can check it here. Okay, on that link, and then yeah, let's get started. Okay, but first, I will going to delete this two objects lamp and camera this is lamp this is camera just going to delete all right we're not going to use that at this moment all right and then select the object left click on your mouse go to object mode to edit mode all right then change from this one i'm going to choose face selection mode here okay the third one this one face okay and then i'm going to select the face here okay select move tools and move it down all right press a to select all mesh okay and bring it there all right then select this face okay uh okay i think this this is the base for our chair i'm not going to adjust the width and height anymore all right so now I want to make a base for the legs okay four legs here one two three four okay to do that I'm going to use loop cut tool okay how to use loop cut tool okay uh, press ctrl R okay ctrl R and bring it sorry not ultimate, uh, ctrl R uh, and then bring your mouse there okay scroll up to make it two click left click and press s y s and y and then you bring these two loop cuts over there okay you can see that okay you move your mouse and make sure the loop cuts are going forward not going on to the y axis directions against each other right let's stick it there right so now using the same uh, technique control r but at this time make sure your mouse you bring your mouth here okay uh, this edge not this edge this edge so now you have a loop cut that against that <coughs> against the previous cuts okay this directions okay the loop cuts that facing y axis okay uh, scroll up okay click and s y no no sorry s x now we bring these two loop cuts there okay all right and here somewhere here and then you press left click button okay now what we have here so from uh, one faces on the top, one faces on the side, and one faces on the bottom. Now we have one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine different faces. Correct. One, two, three four five 
six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new faces. Okay, from these nine new faces, I'm going to select these four. One, okay, make sure you use press shift two three these four faces to be extrude and to make it to make legs out from this face okay you must extrude this face by pressing e you press e and then you move it downwards all right cool so now we have the base and we have four legs of the chair you can if you want to adjust the height of the legs you can move by using move tool you can make sure you still activate these faces and just use move tool to make the legs high or short it's depends okay you doesn't have to press e to to increase the the height okay let's say here there okay all right so now we have the base and the legs so next we're going to create the back of the chair all right mm, let's select this face can make sure face selection is turned on select this and select here and you press e and you move upwards now you have the back <coughs> this is the pillows the pillows i'm not sure what they call but yeah something like this okay again you stop there in in any heights that you want not too high not too short okay so like that okay now again you extrude okay while these two faces is still active okay extrude upwards extrude to z axis e and extrude upwards yep so now from this face i want to connect to this face all right to make the what we call that the back okay so what but what i'm going to do now okay instead of okay i have few options okay either i want to extrude from this one extrude and move it there this is one method but it's not a good practice okay high sorry okay e okay again i can do like this press e there now i have chair okay a simple chair but this is not a good practice okay i'm going to show you on how to have a very good practice in modeling whereby we have to minimize our face or vertex or edge to minimize the numbers of polycon in any objects so what i'm going to do now i will select these two face here this side and this side okay now i'm going to delete this by pressing delete and i'm going to delete the faces so when i click the faces so now what you can see here that the face this face is being deleted All right so now it's <coughs> what left here is this end inside all right so same goes to here so what's next the next by selecting edge to the edge selection here all right this one okay. 
select this shift 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 this sorry not this one okay, actually select this selection here the outer one that we have deleted and you right click you can go to where is the fill yes fill button alternate f all right so what we have there that so if you press f the fill there so what we are going to do i recommend you to do like this okay this one will be linked to this okay sorry this edge link to this edge and then you press f see all right so now you have here f this side f and this side f so what's the difference so now we have uh, remove two face in previous all right so now I have a simple chair all right simple chair is ready or oh, you can make some adjustment here let me select this face <coughs> you press E there all right so now we have a low poly chair for your games or for your animations all right so go back to object mode and then maybe you want to adjust a bit you want to resize you want to make a different sets of chairs maybe you can go duplicate shift d and you move it there sorry shift d and move it like this okay go to edit mode maybe you want to make this chair longer yep this chair will be taller than this chair all right okay cool okay so maybe you, you don't want to get this you delete this one <coughs> okay this one you rename as chair all right so next i will do with add new mesh shift in object mode uh, object mode shift shift a mesh cube all right this time i'm going to make the table for the chair Is here okay so yep so now I have a table okay this is table all right so what's next maybe we add some plane shift a mesh plane all right this okay 
So duplicate shift D this all right shift select shift D to duplicate and move it on X axis and we turn 180 degree R180 sorry RZ180 so RZ180 means that we rotate these two object in Z axis 180 so say we rotate the objects 180 degrees in Z axis all right so yeah there okay. we need more maybe another two shift D here here RZ sorry RZ 45 degree sorry 90 degree how does that 90 degrees? All right. <coughs> Put that. Mm -hmm. Shift D this chain. What exists? R Z 180. All right. Yep. So now we have a set of dining table with six chairs all right is it cool it's easy yep it's easy this is suitable for the beginners to understand on how to use uh, extrusions and look cut to it I've covered on how to create a chair and desk get a table by using uh, only one cube and using extrusions and loop cut tools okay see you again bye bye